Hi, I'm Dr. Dubery. And I'm Dr. Cody Grigsby. And we're going to present you today a self-help to prevent pain when you have a retrolisthesis of the lumbar. And what is a retrolisthesis of the lumbar, lumbar? Well, I hope you've checked out our other videos where we talk about anterior listhesis. Now, retrolisthesis is when a vertebra has posteriorly gone, slid, moved over top of the sacrum or another vertebra. So it's the opposite of the anterolisthesis of the lumbar. So now, how can we help ourselves at home if we do have that problem? Because very often it will give us pain in extension, even pain in flexion, but most often pain in extension, it can be very, very cumbersome for a lot of patients. So we're going to have a very simple contraption. And this is a relatively common injury or condition that affects mostly the L4, L5 area. So we're gonna show you specifically on those. But one of the most important things for yourself is getting a proper diagnosis. The right people to diagnose you, whether that be your medical doctor, physical therapist, or chiropractor, they should use an x-ray on a lateral view to find out exactly if you have this condition and what level, that's very important. And you can try and perform that motion when you have certitude of your exact diagnostic. If you feel better, you will know it right away. If you don't feel better, what do you do, Dr. Cody? You stop. You stop. All right? So you should feel better because a lot of people are helped with that, with the retrolisthesis. Now, what do we need? It's what I wanted to show you a little earlier. We need a mat. A chair, and we don't need it, we can start without a chair. Here we have used our classical uh, yellow box. And you need uh, a socks, sport socks, two tennis balls, already put one in it. So how do we start that? We start a compression, we're going to put our two tennis balls in the socks, like here. I'm pushing it down, beautiful. And then I need to make a big knot so that this way they won't move. Beautiful. So I now, now I have my two tennis balls, and the spinous, the middle of my spine is going to go right in the middle. So we're going to place them like that. And we're going to be lying down so the spine will be like that. And we're going to put this. And the simple gravity or weight on that to those two balls that keep the spine away from the floor, the gravity will be focused just, focused just in this area, and it will help you gently to relieve the stress and the pain associated with the retrolisthesis. You want to be the patient, Dr. Cody? I will, let's do this. All right, put the author away, let's go. So I'm going to go here so we can see a little bit better here. Beautiful. So we can start with a straight leg, but we're going to pass on that because you're going to, if you have a straight leg, you will have less pressure. Why? Because basically your lumbar lordosis is formed when you have a straight leg. Here we have flattened the lumbar lordosis. L4 will be roughly at the level of the belt. So we're going to ask my patient, Dr. Cody, to bring his pelvis up, and I'm going to put those two balls right here, your head, Beautiful. And now he has a pressure directly on L4, L5. So I'm going to ask Dr. Cody to move the ball gently with his hand or with his body to place it exactly on the posterior vertebrae. And you, you will feel that, you the patient, by an improvement in how the, the perception, your pain or your tightness, and you will feel the, the exact location. When you are fine, you stay like that, and we're going to increase the tension on the back by raising the head slightly with a pillow. So we have increased the tension on the cervical spine, upper thoracic, going down to the lumbar, and then that tension will allow us to more easily push this fifth or fourth lumbar segment anterior when it was posterior by the simple gravity. You can even read a book when you're like that for a few minutes. I suggest and we all suggest 
to try that two or three minutes to get up, to walk, to see if we have an increase in range of motion by bending forward and extending our back. If we feel a little, little bit better, we will increment, we will increase the time spent on that contraption. Test it, you will love it. I like it. <clears throat>